Hey guys, it's Ray here from rwoco 12 and EpicDroid.com, and we're here today to answer a question. What would you say if I told you that you could get a decent tablet for $50 or less? Chances are you don't believe me. Well, I'm here today to tell you guys that you can. So unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of this tablet, you've probably seen it, and you may even have one. If you were anything like me, you probably dismissed it as a cheap throwaway tablet that really wasn't worth buying. So the tablet we are talking about today is the Kindle Fire tablet. I'm here to tell you it is a cheap throwaway tablet, but that's actually a good thing. The Amazon Kindle Fire tablet comes in a variety of sizes. The base model is the 7 inch Fire tablet, that's this one here. It typically sells for around $50, but Amazon regularly offers discounts on it. I got this one here for $25. For that $50 or less, you get a basic tablet, and I mean basic. It comes with a 600 by 1024 resolution, a dual core 1 gigahertz processor, 8 gigs of storage, and 512 megs of RAM. So for the Kindle Fire tablet, Amazon built a very, very customized version of Android, and they locked it down extremely tight. So you can't root it easily and your options for customization are very limited. For example, you have to use Amazon's launcher and technically you're only supposed to be using the Amazon App Store. But if you hit the link in the video description down below, you can hit a video where we show you how to install the Google Play Store on your Fire tablet, which opens it up to a lot of other apps you can't get regularly and enhances your customization and other options. So far, I am doing a horrible job of selling you guys on the Kindle Fire tablet. It's not a spec powerhouse. It's somewhat limited by Amazon trying to lock it down to just their apps and overall it's not something that just jumps out as one of those I have to have this type of gadgets but that's not what the Fire Tablet is about. The Fire Tablet line is all a part of Amazon's business strategy. The Kindle Fire Tablet serves one purpose, and that is to get you to buy more stuff from Amazon. When you buy the tablet by itself, you will be incredibly disappointed. It doesn't do much unless you are willing to fork out more and more and more money. But if you are an Amazon Prime member, the Fire Tablet really, really begins to shine. With that Prime membership, your tablet stops being just a cheap throwaway tablet and it becomes a media juggernaut. With the Fire Tablet and Prime together, you get access to literally thousands of books in the Kindle Lending Library and the Prime Reading Library. You get ad-free listening to more than a million songs with Prime Music and with Prime Video, you can watch all your favorite movies and TV shows. You can even download them so that you can watch them on the go without service. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So for those of you who have followed me for a while, you know I have kids. We go on a lot of road trips. And it's super nice that I can hand the Fire Tablet back to my son and he can spend the whole trip reading. My daughter gets her tablet and then she can watch her shows and everybody gets along. And if one of the tablets gets broken, not a big deal. I can buy a replacement for very, very cheap. Now just to clarify, my kids don't get the tablets for the whole trip. I make them suffer for at least half of the trip without their tablets. After all, it is only fair. When I was a kid, I went on much, much longer road trips and I had to spend the entire trip staring out windows, interacting with my siblings, or playing with rocks and sticks and stuff. They should have to experience some of that themselves. It is only fair. So now for the final question. Do I recommend getting the Amazon Kindle Fire tablet? Well, that question has two answers. The first one is yes. If you're an Amazon Prime member, yes, get the Kindle Fire tablet. It's awesome and it's a great experience, especially when you have access to all those extra features and the extra enhancements that you get through Amazon Prime. Now, the second answer is no. If you are not an Amazon Prime member, I do not recommend getting the Kindle tablet. But I do recommend getting Amazon Prime and then getting the Kindle Fire tablet. So I'll have links in the video description down below where you can order your own Amazon Kindle tablet and sign up for Amazon Prime if you're not already a member. If you have any questions about the Kindle Fire tablet or about Amazon Prime, hit us up in the comment section down below and we'll answer those questions as we are available. If this video has been helpful to you, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends. And as always, I just want to tell you guys thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.